Ow. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hey Gaia, what's up? Today I will talk about the Grau. The Grau was the meta in the early season in Warzone, but now it's more like the Kilo and than before it was the Brain. But I think the Grau is still an overpowered gun, and I will show you that in this video. First of all, the Grau is the air with no attachments which has the fastest ideas. Even the ice val with no attachments is slower. For your first attachments in Warzone it's always the same thing. You need the monolithic suppressor because it gives you more damage range and in fact it's a bonus of 10% thanks to true game data and it gives you also bullet velocity and the bonus is about 15%. This attachment is super unnecessary because the majority of your fights in Warzone is in middle range and because the suppressor keeps you out of the minimap. And the second attachment is for the barrel and it's the Tempus 26.4 Archangel. This barrel is a huge advantage with the Grow because it gives you more damage range with a bonus of 40%. It gives you more vertical recoil with a bonus of 21% and it gives you more bullet velocity with a bonus of 57%. The coins is the ADS speed. It decreases your ADS speed with 71 milliseconds. This barrel, the Tempus 26.4 Archangel, is normally used without scope. But for this setup, I advise you to use the VLK scope because this provides you an horizontal bounce of 20% and a vertical recoil control of 11%. This attachment and the VLK is amazing because your weapon will not move at all. And for the middle range fights, it's a huge opportunity. Then the next attachment is the Commando for Grip. The Commando for Grip is an attachment which is essentially used for the horizontal bounce because it gives you a bonus of 15% of horizontal bounce. So the space between each bullet is decreased a lot and it gives you a vertical recoil control of 6%. And this attachment instead of the other, does not decrease your ADS speed. And last but not least, the magazine. I think in Razon you have to put the 60 round because the ADS time between the 50 and the 60, and you can see that with the true game data statistic, is the same. So use the 60, it won't be a problem in your fight because you will fully load it with your weapon. In order to end this discussion about 
my grow class setup, I want to show you the comparison between my class setup with the grow and the actually meta of the kilo. Um, you know the class setup kilo is a monet expressor, 19.8 single puller, VLK crop, 60 round magazine and the commando for grip. And I will show you the comparison between these two guns, my grow class setup and the kilo meta. And you can see two things. First, the ADS time is faster with my grow class setup and the grow has a reload time faster than the kilo. Then, if you check the damage per second, you can see that the kilo is more powerful than the grow. But when you put the ADS time and the fire rate together, it gives you the time to kill. And you can see that my grow class setup is more powerful than the kilometer who is actually used in Warzone. Try this class setup, enjoy the gameplay, and... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Sorry, I don't want to be here. That's not my business. 